Hello everyone and welcome to another Mondays with Michelle video. This week's video is all about customizing Microsoft Word's built-in paragraph styles. You can even create your own styles. If you'd rather leave the customizing to someone else, themes might be the answer. We'll talk about what they are and how you can use them. Let's get started. There are a number of occasions where it would be helpful to be able to either modify the way Word is defaulting, the behavior of the styles, or to just go rogue and create your own style. So what we're going to do is set up a sample document and just talk about what we can do with these styles. So if I look at my home menu, I've turned my paragraph markers on just to show you that backwards P. It is basically created as an end of paragraph mark. So basically every time you press enter, you are creating a new paragraph in word terms. So right now, if we look up at our list of styles, it's got the normal paragraph style set up. So I'm going to click on title and you notice the formatting change. So I'll go, this is my title. And when I press enter, Word is automatically changing the style to normal because it has programmed the title style to say the next thing we want to type will most likely not be another title. It'll be just a regular body paragraph. So this is a normal paragraph. And if I press enter again, it knows that 90% of what we type is going to be regular body paragraphs. So it will continually do more body paragraphs if all I do is continue to press enter. And you've all experienced that. If I now want a heading two, this is a heading two, and I press enter, we're back to the normal paragraph. So this is all pretty standard. But a few things I've found, depending on the paragraph styles, they might not be defaulting to the spacing I want. I find a lot of times this first body paragraph is tucked way too close to the heading. Some of them, it's just jammed right against that heading. So maybe I want to change some of the settings. Or maybe I want this title to not be blue. I want it to be a different color. And I could go in and manually change the settings here. But I want it to be changed permanently so that Every time I go to set a title, it's always formatted to my liking. So the way to do that is to go up here and right click on the title. And there's this modify button. And modify brings me into this screen, which shows me what's going on with the style. And you notice it says, here is my style name title. This is what's controlling the style that comes next. So for example, if I was to change this and say, after I press enter when I've typed my title, I want it to automatically bring up a heading one. And I'm going to change the text 
color of this title. I want it to be purple. Now, at the bottom of this dialog box, there's a few controls that you need to know about. This checkbox, add to the styles gallery, means this style is going to show up in this list at the top of my screen. That's the styles gallery. This is really important. It says all this mucking around I'm doing, changing the styles, is only going to affect this document. So if I was to do File New, after I've mucked with all these styles, I'm not going to be seeing all these changes I've made. Right now, anything I'm changing is only going to be in this document. If I wanted to make this change permanent every time I create a new document, that would be this setting, new documents based on this template. And I believe I mentioned last week, you never, never, ever want to select this automatically update option. Because what that means is every single change you make to formatting manually, you are telling Word to automatically include that as the permanent definition of the style. So right now, I've made these changes to my title style. I'm saying I'm going to change the color to purple. I'm going to do heading one as the style that's immediately created when I press enter. And I think I'll also change this font. Let's do Edwardian script. And it's showing me a little preview of what it'll look like. So I'm going to click OK and watch what happens to my text here. So this is my title. I've now redefined the style, which means if I now choose title and when I press enter, you notice it is no longer bringing up a normal paragraph because I redefined it to say every time I press enter, I want to create a heading one style. Now, the other thing you can do if I click back in title and I go back up here and I right click on the word title and I modify. And this time I'm going to change some other type of formatting. I'm going to do, well, I can change it from here. Let's do bolding. And I'm going to change it this time to red. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. You notice it changed both items because we are changing the definition of the style itself. And that's a little hard on the eyes, so I undid that just so that it doesn't annoy us. All right, so we've looked at going in to modify the style by just right clicking and then making our changes from within this dialog box. The other way you can do it is you can say, I'm going to manually create my changes. So I'm going to highlight my text. I'll go over here and say, let's try green, maybe a darker green. And I don't like that script font. Let's do this one. And maybe that's a little bit 
big. So I'm using my manual formatting tools here to set it up the way I want. And when I think I've got the right effect, then what I do is I've still got this whole paragraph selected. I go up and right click again on title, but this time I'm going to do update title to match my selection. In other words, I've already chosen all my formatting. Instead of going into modify and making those choices again, I'm just going to say update it. And look what happened. It has updated the style itself, which means it's automatically updating all the other paragraphs that were set the same way, that were set with that same style name. Now, sometimes you might want to create your own unique paragraph style. So let's say I've got this normal paragraph and I want to set up a style where he's going to be indented, he's going to be Times New Roman. And I'm going to set it up as blue text, italics. And I'm going to put some space above and below. So I'm going to make this some extra space there. So I'm going to give this style a new name. So the easiest way is I go over to my list of styles and click at the bottom of this scroll bar and there is a create style. So I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it my Mondays with Michelle normal. And I'm going to click OK. And here is my style. And it gives me this little preview of what that style looks like. So if I now click in one of these normal paragraphs, if I click in this big paragraph and now select Mondays with Michelle, it has applied all of that formatting I did. So I now have a brand new style that appears on my list here. And if I right click it and go to modify, again, I have these controls down here. So right now, this is set to only appear in this document. So what that means is if I now do file new and I create a new blank document, the minute I click blank document that is using what's called the normal template. And you notice I don't have the Mondays with Michelle style. So here is this new document I've created. The very first style is normal. Then we have no space, then heading one. If I look at my other document that we were working on, it's got a style that I had created before this session, the style I just created, and then my standard document styles. So when you are first playing with styles, I strongly recommend that you create them or do your changes with everything set to only in this document. Because you can go in at any time once you are more comfortable with what you're doing. You can go in any time and say, yeah, I want to add this style to any documents based on this template. So you can easily make that change, but it's better to wait until you've played a bit and know what you're doing. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you 
very important setting. If we take a look again, there is this clear formatting command. Now, sometimes, and let me just click in one of my paragraphs. Sometimes, and you've probably experienced it, Word gets confused when you try and do too many changes at once. So maybe you've got your base paragraph. Maybe you manually applied some formatting. And maybe you decided, oh, I'm going to change this to a different color. And then you decided, you know what? I think this whole paragraph needs to be bigger. And then you realized you wanted every one of the paragraphs to look like that. And you were getting really confused as to what is standard in the style and what you manually added. So when it gets to that point, sometimes the easiest thing is to clear all the formatting. And the highlighting is the only thing that doesn't automatically clear. You've got to take that off because the highlighting is not part of the underlying style. But what it is doing is it has removed the font, the paragraph, all those other settings that are associated with the paragraph style. And it has turned this back into the standard normal paragraph formatting. So now you can basically start from scratch and apply the formatting that you need. So I think of that as the if everything gets confused, turn it back into a normal paragraph by just clearing all of the formatting and that will clear anything that you have manually applied, as I said, other than highlighting. The other thing you might want to know is how do I delete styles when I've created them? So maybe this style I created, I decide, you know what, I, I don't want that style anymore. If I go to this scroll bar, there isn't a delete option here. And if I right click, I have remove from Stagall Gallery, but all that's going to do is take it off this quick reference list, if you will. It's not actually deleting it from the system, so the style is still there. If I really want to delete it, what I have to do is go down to this little arrow to open up this styles window and I'm going to have to go in to manage my styles. And this first tab, this edit tab, gives me a list of styles and you notice we now have a delete button. So it's going to default to whichever style I happen to have selected. So because I had selected my MJ normal style, that's the one that it's put as highlighted here. So I can now delete that style. It says, are you sure? You know what you're doing. Yes. And I click OK. And a few things happened. This is my master list of styles. And you notice that style is no longer there. And it's no longer up top here. But more importantly, when I deleted that style, Word no longer has the information on how to format this paragraph. So it's defaulting it to just a regular normal paragraph. So we've talked about paragraph styles, how you can create your own, how you can set the type of paragraph that is going to automatically follow every time you press enter. What I want to show you now 
Word has, under the design tab, they have what they call themes, document themes. So think of themes as a predefined set of styles that all work together. So if I go through these different themes, look at what's happening to my display. So the second theme called Basic Elegant, it's showing me on my document a preview of what it would look like if I selected that style. This is the one I was using. Then we've got this one. I'm going to turn the paragraph markers off just so they're not distracting us and go back into design here. So there is quite a variety. We've got one that has ruled lines and numbered headings. We've got this style. They have some that have colored bars. So if we pick something like this particular one here, every time I create a new heading, so for example, if I now say, give me a heading two, this is a new heading two, and it's defaulting to normal. I still have my unique styles I created because I said, put those styles in this document, and I'm still within this same document. But it's handy to have these curated groups of styles that have been packaged as themes. So you can change the look of your document a lot just by looking at the different options. One of the settings that I do tend to play with when I am modifying styles or creating new styles is the paragraph settings. And I'll show it to you by going into that modify command. So if we go in and I say I want to format the paragraph, this is the same dialog box that comes up if I were to right click on a paragraph and say format paragraph. And there's a few things you can do. You can control how much the text is indented. You can control the spacing before and after, and this is where I tend to do some playing around. So I might say, I automatically want a full line of space before, and I'm going to put a full line after. And Everything is measured in points. So the way to think of it is, if my font is 10 points, that means one blank line is going to be equal to 10 points of space. So if I want the equivalent of two blank lines, automatically, every time I press Enter, I'm going to have to select 20 points or type it in. And I might decide I want no space above, but I'm going to have 20 points below. And if I click OK, it has increased the amount of blank space below the paragraph. And the goal with using styles, what you want to avoid is doing this to add extra space. It's much easier to maintain a document if every time you press enter, you're actually typing something. You don't have all these what I call orphan paragraph markers that are doing nothing but respacing your document. If I was to choose one of these other designs and 
you'll notice if I click in the title and I go to my home menu, it's showing the font is Calibri Light. And if I click in one of my body paragraphs, it's showing it's Calibri Body. But what if I want to have a different combination of fonts? What I can do is go into the Design tab and click on this Fonts drop-down. And what this is showing is predefined combinations if I scroll through this list. So for example, I could have Times New Roman as the title and the headings and then Arial for the body. Or I could have Arial for the headings and Times New Roman as the body. So I'm going to click that option. And as soon as I hover over it, it gives me a preview of what it will look like. Now if I click in my title style, and go back to the home menu, it's saying it's defined as Arial. My body paragraph, normal, immediately below, is now defined as Times New Roman. If I click on heading one, it's Arial. If I click in one of the body paragraphs, it's set to Times New Roman. So. I can either change the fonts by going to this design tab and clicking on one of the combinations. And just by hovering over, I can see the effect on my document to choose an option that I like. So this allows me to use words predefined combinations, or I could click Customize Fonts, and I could select fonts of my own. So you can change the look of your document, specify your fonts in several different ways. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to download the handout. You'll find the link in the video description at the bottom of your screen. You may need to click show more to see the handout links. Thanks for watching.